If you're old enough, you may remember these. Back in the day, we used to take pictures on film and then we had to send the film roll to a lab like Walmart or Walgreens and they would develop the film for us and give us these film negatives. But today, if you have these film negatives laying around, it's hard to develop these into pictures. But I came across an app on today's app of the day video that we're gonna review that allows you to take a picture of these film negatives and it turns them into a digital picture. Very interesting app. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take these film negatives and digitize them using this app. It's a pretty straightforward process and it kind of amazed me once I tried out the app, so I really wanted to make a video to share that with you. The app is called Filmbox and it's a film negatives photo scanner. So that's exactly what it's gonna do. It's gonna take those negatives and it's gonna scan them into your phone. So you could go ahead and download it here. I'll put a link below in the description of this video. Now the app is free to use but there is a limitation on how many photos you could scan. So I already hit my limit when I was making this video. So once you hit your limit and you like what it's doing, you could go ahead and upgrade with the paid plan. So let me go ahead and open the app and it will show you some tutorials. I've been using it for a little bit, so I wanted to show you exactly how to do it, but you could go through the tutorials if you want to. And this is basically where you end up, which is the photo library of all the picture you end up scanning into the app. So on this page, you'll end up getting the option on the bottom to share, to add, meaning scan more photos, and to play it as a slideshow. So those three options will be on the bottom. Now I can't press add in my case because I hit my limit on how many I could scan. So I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe because I really wanna show you the scanning process live on camera so you get an idea of how it works. So I just unlocked the app, so now I could press add. That's the first thing you would typically wanna do is press add so you could scan your photo. Now let me show you on camera exactly how this works. You're gonna take your negative here, it's gonna go against the white light in the background. So in my case, let me go ahead and open a window here, like google.com for example, where I could have a white background. So I just opened google.com here so I could have a white background. Now you could use other surfaces that are white too, this tends to work well for me because I had a computer just standing here, but you could use any kind of white background like this that will give you a backlight. Then I would hold my film about two inches from that backlight. So I don't want it right on top, I want it to be about two inches. And then I'll hold my camera about two inches in front of that. And as you could see here, if I hold the red option right on the bottom, it will go ahead and scan it just like that and boom. It just added it to my photo library. Super simple to use. In fact, from the 20 or so times I've tried it, I only got uh, an error message one time. Not even an error message, but it scanned the film a little bit differently where I had to rescan it. But let me go ahead and do another car here. This is just from an auto show from about 20 years ago. And just like that, it scans it and adds it to your photo library. So now, let me go ahead and go to that photo library. And as you could see, all those photos that I've been scanning are showing up right over here. So that's how you scan photos in. Then you have the play option that will play this as a slideshow from the first picture. So you could press play and jump in between the images here. And you have the share option. So if you press share, you could go ahead and select some of these and share it with other people or save them. The only thing is this is part of the premium option. So if I select a couple of these, just like that. You could see on the bottom, I could save them, email them, and print them, make collages. All those are part of the premium option. So you can't share anything. You could scan images in, but you can't share them unless you pay for the premium option. And there's an option on top called options. Press that one, and it lets you reorder your photos or delete photos too. So if you reorder photos, you could just go ahead and move photos. Just click one, hold down, and then reorder it. You would wanna do this if you want to do the slideshow, for example, that way you know exactly which one is gonna play first, and then go ahead and press save. And it's really this simple to use the app, so I just wanted to make a quick video for you because it really blew my mind. Now, in some cases, it wasn't as good as what I got out of the lab, but these have been sitting around for almost 20 years, so they're pretty faded, so the fact that it's doing a good job scanning them with the color intact really blew my mind. And I'm gonna give this app a solid five out of five. This is one of those apps that is really gonna come in handy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for easy to follow app videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.